What's up guys, this is Cody here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to get 3D touch as well as live photos on older iPhones. Now, of course, this isn't going to be exactly the same, but it's gonna be a very close second and give you a very similar experience. So to start with, you're of course going to need to be jailbroken. If you're not jailbroken, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to just click on and follow that tutorial. Now, first I wanna talk about simulating the 3D touch. Now, I don't think this is actually out in Cydia just yet, but I will find out from the developer when he plans on pushing this. So if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, I'll be sure to let you know as soon as I know when this is going to be released. Now, if you are jailbroken, then you probably heard of a tweak called VLOX2. So basically, it's just an addition to VLOX2 that's going to give you this simulated 3D touch effect. So for instance, if we wanted to use it on settings, first of all, we would just put our finger on the icon and then press a little bit harder, and then it's going to give us a menu similar to what you would get with 3D touch. So if we go ahead and do that here, you'll see that it gives you just a little bit of haptic feedback, so it vibrates there and then opens up the menu uh, for the settings. Now, of course, this is going to work with any application that works with VLOX2. So for instance, it'll work on the camera as well. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it just pops up the camera right there and you can see that that's working. Uh, you can do this on the clock application as well. So if we do that there, you can see you have all of your alarms right here. So it just basically gives you that nice simulated 3D touch effect. Of course, it's going to be a little bit different than what you would get with the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus, but at the same time, if you're not upgrading, this should go ahead and hold you over. And next, I wanna talk about Photos Live. This, of course, is simulating live photos that you get with the 6S and 6S Plus. And it's really simple to set up. If we just go into our settings here, you'll notice that we have Photos Live settings panel, and you can just enable it right here. And then right down here, you can actually set up how long you want the duration to be for these actual moving pictures. So you can set this up uh, right now, it's set at two. We can move it all the way up to three right there. Coming down here, you also have the front flash settings. So of course, if you wanna take selfies, then you can use the display as a front facing flash. And then right here, you can enable it. You can obviously uh, turn on the intensity right here from auto, low, normal to high. And then right down here, you can change the flash color. So that's one thing that it's not going to do is be able to you know, sense what the room is like or what color the room is and then kind of tone that flash. You're gonna have to choose the flash yourself right here. You can always set default color if you do mess this up, uh, if it's not working too good for you. Now right down here, you also have your photo settings so you can create photos live album. You just toggle that on. Also show badge on the photo which I'll show you here in just a second, and also autoplay on scroll. So just like on the new devices, when you're swiping across from photo to photo, you get a short little animation as you swipe from photo to photo, and that's basically what that toggle is right there. Now to play the photo, you just hold on it like you do on the new phones. So let's go out of here and let's check out photos. And I've actually already taken a few. Uh, I didn't actually plan on using these in the video, but I forgot to take any more, so we're just gonna use these. So you can see as we swipe across, that it does play a little bit of an animation right there. So now when we tap and hold, it's gonna blur, has a nice little effect, and then play the actual live photo. So you can see that one thing that it doesn't have is sound. Now I'm pretty sure that it doesn't have sound. I couldn't figure out how to turn it on if it does, uh, but that's one caveat to this tweak. Now you'll notice that we have a live badge right there as well, so we know that it's a live badge. So that just gives you an idea if you turn off that animation uh, for these photos as you swipe across. Now just to show you the front facing flash, if we go ahead and jump into the camera here, and load that up. You'll notice that we have a little live indicator right there. And of course, right up here, we can toggle that on or off just by tapping on that. And then if we wanna flip this around to the front facing camera, excuse the mess back there, but you can see you have a flash right up here at the top. So if we tap on that, you can either turn it on, off, or turn it on auto. So we have it set on on right now. So that means when we take a picture, it should go ahead and flash that color that we had set up. It also fix, uh, captured the live capture. So when we go back here and take a look, you'll see that we have a live photo right there. So that's pretty much it. A couple of simple tweaks that are going to allow you to get those really anticipated features that you're looking for in the 6S and 6S Plus. I mean, we all knew it was just a matter of time before these awesome features 
came to older devices. So again, if you wanna be updated when VLOX2 is updated with this new feature, be sure to follow me on Twitter and I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.